Hey there, we are proud to present to you Resolume 7.14. This update contains upgrades to NDI, a brand new grid cloner effect, a complete rewrite of Resolume Alley, and huge changes to Resolume Wire. Besides the new toys, this update also contains lots of bug fixes. The complete release notes can be found in the description below. We have updated Arena and Avenue to run with NDI version 5.5. This NDI update fixes a handful of bugs, but more importantly, it makes NDI a lot faster. Sending out an alpha channel is now optional, which can save you some bandwidth. The color space can also be changed from RGB to YUV, saving even more precious bandwidth. The grid cloner is joining the linear and radial cloners. You can create a grid of up to 100 copies of your clips. The clones can be rotated, shifted, and even randomized. We are transitioning away from OpenGL to Vulkan, which is a much newer cross-platform graphics API. Our first major step is now done. Resolume Alley runs entirely in Vulkan and does not use OpenGL anymore. Alley now converts videos faster, has much improved H.264 playback and supports output to Siphon or Spout. Attribute flow is joining the signal flow and event flow in a wire. Attribute flow allows you to make changes to attributes. This means that you can now scale collections like linear and sequence. In turn, this makes it easy to scale patches to a desired instance count. This opens up the door to slice animation effects, cloners, and some basic particles. Wire 7.14 introduces 2D meshes. Meshes are a lightweight way to create lots of copies of a texture. The new 2D workflow includes new types like geometry, meshes, texture material, and cameras. This update allows for some amazing cloner effects and video synthesis possibilities. We are also making some fundamental changes in wire. Previously, entering a negative Y value in a transform or move node moved the shape up. But this is not standard and it makes more sense to move an object down when entering a negative value. So we change this to follow industry standard and common sense. Entering a negative Y value now moves objects down. When loading an older patch, we automatically convert the patch and possibly insert a node or two to make sure that older patches still work as expected. Rotation is now also going in the other direction, so the negative value will now rotate clockwise. This follows industry standards for a right-handed coordinate system. This update also deprecates two nodes, choice in and pack. Deprecation means that the nodes still work, but you cannot create them anymore. The choice in node is no longer needed as the integer in node now can function as a choice in node. By adding options counts, you can create button and drop down menus like the choice in node did. But the integer in is much more flexible in the values that can be assigned to the options and the UI is much cleaner. As stated in the previous bit, we are also deprecating the pack node. We found that many new users found the pack node confusing, and as we are introducing new types, the pack node requires a lot of maintenance. Therefore, we are moving to a more logical system of constructors and converters. Nodes like float2, float3, float4, and texture now allow you to construct that type out of smaller types and essentially replace the pack node's functionality. The 2Float2, 2Float3, 2Float4 and Texture nodes allow you to convert one type to another. This change might be a bit confusing for early adopters, but in our experience this workflow makes more sense and is much easier to teach to new users. And that was it for Resolume 7.14. Make sure to check out the tutorials on the new features on our channel and feel free to drop any questions you have in the comments below.